This is a fast mirror exercise. <laughs> Josh! Hey, welcome back to our stupid directions. It's Ed Corin. I've ridden. Hey, what? With her. Or sleep. Name set. Hats off for the Holy Mark. Anyways, today we're doing a video. This is called Baseball versus Cricket. Which sport is better? You don't want to do this. No, I'm telling you. Uh, I, I, I know that's not what this is. This is, that's, the title's just for clicks, I'm pretty sure. So like, in terms of like, I'm gonna get, I'm gonna make a lot of you really angry. Whatever, but this actually goes over the common misconceptions, like what a cricket player has about baseball okay. and vice versa. Great. Uh, so I think that's more of what the video is. Uh, Cause obviously, you can't say one sport's better than another. It's it's no. all based off your preference. You can no. think you can think curling, which is a great sport, uh, is the yeah. best sport. No, there's it's not just, one sport that's it's better just like than saying another. this art is better than that art. Yeah, or are somebody who's yeah, I like well, you like Pepsi, I like Coke. Which yeah. one's better? Well, it's Pepsi. Yeah, right. uh, but anyway, so I'm pretty sure that's what this is. Not okay. really a. You, I we're gonna get a definitive. But I answer. will say something that'll piss some of you off at the end. I promise you, it's gonna piss a lot of you off. But it's it's just it's fact. So yeah. here we go. Versus cricket. For some reason, I get a lot of people making adverse comments on my videos on baseball and cricket. <laughs> Most of them are just trolling, which is pretty sad. Agreed. <laughs> but quite a lot of them seem to be misinformed. And I'm here to put that to bed once and for all. This video will destroy the myths that each set of fans has in regards to the other cool. sports and show you why it's a largely pointless argument to compare the two. Cool. Before I get started, you know what to do. Subscribe and hit the bell. And let's start by destroying myths held by cricket fans about baseball. Cricket fans will always argue that it's harder to hit a cricket ball, but this is not true. Correct. A show by ESPN Sports Science completely disproved this myth. The contact surface area of a baseball bat is significantly you smaller. Take a round than ball a and a round bat and hit it square. Which means putting the ball in play requires more accuracy with a baseball bat. This was demonstrated where a pro cricketer tried to hit with baseball bats with relatively poor results. And a pro baseball player tries to hit with a cricket bat with significantly better results. The form is going to be wrong, but he the can hit it. The reaction time has to be quicker in baseball too. Correct. The distance between the wickets in cricket is roughly 20 meters. The distance between the pitching rubber and home plate feet, six inches. 18 meters. Therefore, you have meters. less time to think and react in baseball. This is not a myth. This is Correct. a scientifically proven fact. It is physically harder to hit a baseball with a baseball bat. A smaller bat, a smaller ball. Critics fans will argue that cricket bowlers launch the ball faster than baseball pitchers. It's Again, this is not true. It's different. <laughs> the average speed of a cricket ball at the top level is 88 miles an hour. It'll be 90 something. The average speed baseball. of a baseball 96, pitch, 92, 92 miles an hour. Yeah. Upwards of 100 a lot of the time. The times. cricket ball, Shoei Bakhtar, 100.2 miles an hour. 104 baseball. The fastest ever baseball pitch. Oh, 105. Our oldest Chapman. That's right. 105.1 miles an hour. Yankee. Baseball wins. Right there. Cricket fans argue that cricket is played by more people but why? This is an annoying statistic, as cricket is yeah. played by fewer countries where the populations are massive. If you just include US and China, over I mean, yeah, that, that, and therefore I don't know why superiority. That one doesn't, unless you include baseball all Indians. Is in more <laughs> where the populations are significantly less. Baseball fans use this statistic to over exaggerate popularity and therefore superiority. And baseball should be complaining. Using populations or number of countries is not an accurate measure of how many people actually play the sport in these countries. Right. To me, this, this does not dictate how popular a sport actually is. Absolutely. Cricket fans deem baseball inferior because baseball players use a glove to catch the ball. Making fun of a sport because they use the equipment for safety reasons is incredibly shallow. <laughs> the baseball speed of a ball off a bat is much faster not than the ball off of a ball of cricket bat. It's still crazy that cricketers can catch it. Agreed. And any cricket <laughs> fans who disagree with that, what's this then? What's that? What's that thing that the wicket keeper has in his hands? Oh yeah, it's gloves. <laughs> this argument is largely hypocritical. I all for player safety, and I condemn those who make fun of things that make a sport safe to play, especially if it's safety for kids. 
You literally are a disgusting scumbag. <laughs> <laughs> on That's the other side of the coin, baseball fans will argue that the cricket ball is easier to hit and therefore it's easier to score runs. But that's not necessarily true. Yes, we've scientifically proven that it is harder to physically hit a baseball, but it's certainly not easier to score runs because of it. Funny, the Indians In holding baseball, it like a, a, a cricket bat. Yeah. That you can be out. And baseball players will hold a, a cricket out, like a baseball bat. In cricket, that's 10. And not only do you have to defend your wickets, and then once you're out, you also you're gone. have to defend yourself. Yep. Because in baseball, if you're hit by a pitch, you get to cry about it a little, and then you're going to the first base. Yeah. In cricket, if you're hit by a ball, Doesn't and you're hurt from it, it's perfectly legal. Yep. And if it strikes your leg in front of the wicket, it's, it's, you're, you're out. out. Yep. Throwing at the batsman is not only perfectly fine, but it's <laughs> A bowler could bounce the ball at your head with every ball, and it'd be perfectly acceptable. Ooh. Can you score runs efficiently if they're gunning for your face? Hmm, debatable. Baseball fans will argue that it's easier to put the ball in play. It no way. But that's no not true. way. It's not enough to just make contact with the ball. It's putting the ball in play without being out. Yep. In baseball, you hit the ball between the foul lines, which forms this 90 degree area. Yep. You hit the ball outside the foul lines. You're not out unless you're caught in the exactly. foul territory. No, I would say it's harder. But a cricket batsman um, has to be a cricket. Yeah. Without question. Around. Yes. They have to be adept at hitting the ball behind them, as well as exactly at their sides. That aspect of and it even is that, insane. They could yeah. still be caught or run out, as opposed to being let off with just a foul That's ball. That's the first thing that blew our minds when we were learning about it. Yes, there are bigger gaps in the field because the fielding team has to cover more ground. But there's a lot more to think about than just hitting a ball with all your might. Exactly. In Way point, more you nuances have more they have to deal with. with. Exactly. Hit. Because once you're out, you don't get another chance to bat. Exactly. You are done. Much more pressure. Baseball fans will argue that cricket bowlers have no skill whatsoever. What? I don't know who Britain said that. Argue that they have to have more. Then they don't know what they're talking in about. In baseball, a pitcher stands in one place, throws the ball in the air directly to a batter, who is standing in one place. But a bowler in cricket can deliver the ball anywhere along the crease, on either side of the wicket. They can throw the ball on the full, yep. like in baseball where it doesn't hit the ground, or they can pass the ball from the floor. They can fastball it, spin it, hook it, roll it, either at the wicket, at the gaps around the wicket, or at the player themselves. Whilst we've proven that they don't throw as fast, they use infinitely more tricks to try and get the Yeah, they don't the agree. Bounce. That's one of the only tricks this in baseball. Suggests, I would say skill. baseball players, pitchers probably have baseball fans seven or eight things. Cricket yeah. is long and they've got glory. 25. Yeah. Not exactly no. covering themselves with glory on this <laughs> Agreed, it's notoriously boring sometimes. Due to their formats, they can take anywhere up to five days to play. Whilst that's down Look at baseball. Play, <laughs> it's, it's, rules. It's, it's just like watching a, a series between two teams. Yes, Those look for days. Where some of the games are shorter than Major League Baseball games. It all depends on which format you're watching. Right. And as for the boring part, that's totally a subjective, subjective opinion rather than an objective but that's, fact. That's an opinion of a lot of Americans too, though. That's yeah. that's why the ratings are the down compared to other sports. sports. This video has largely been a waste of time. <laughs> they're two different sports. Yep. That, it's yeah. kind of like comparing an apple to a lemon. Lemon fanboys will argue that lemons are better because they're more yellow. Yep. And apple fanboys will argue that apples are better because they begin with the letter A. <laughs> You could invent I don't. any metric to support or disprove any argument between these two. But it's not a fair comparison. The only reason they get compared is to a bat and a ball. My lips. But they are and two fielding and out sports. Runs. It's, they're very different oh, sports. And yes. contrary to both sets of fans saying things like cricket is an inferior copy of baseball, no. or baseball is an American derivative of cricket, neither it's one of those is true. Because they always were and always have been two completely separate sports. Yep. They were invented around about the same time, Correct. with no common heritage or overlap. I thought that at first, I thought baseball came from cricket. Most sports originated in England. And I was wrong. There is no sport that is objectively better, as the objectives are completely different for each one. Yes, both sports are played with a bat and a ball, but that's where the similarities end. The real question is, which sport do you prefer? Yeah. That is up to you. If you've enjoyed this video, 
please be sure to like, share, and subscribe, and leave your thoughts in the comments section below. Yeah, a great video. Yeah, yeah. fantastic video, and it's exactly what I thought it was going to be. Yeah. It wasn't, obviously you can't, outside of, you know, um, um, When I said the the Olympic curling, sport. curling, that's the greatest sport of all time. I think we can, I think we can all agree on that. My favorite Olympic sport. I could watch more curling. Than I'd love to watch curling. Any other Olympic? Sport. No, I won't go that far because any there are other, other sports. Olympic sport, I will watch curling above. Yeah, I not, love it. Not My wife calls it pucky broom. But I do, uh, I do, I do <laughs> love curling. It's anyway, fun to watch. But yeah, that's exactly what I thought it was going to be because we hear it all the time. Obviously, obviously, Americans know nothing about cricket. Yeah, absolutely zero. Zero. Indians don't really know much about baseball either. Right. Which is why you hear stuff, baseball is cricket without brains, which means, is not, means, means you know nothing, nothing about baseball. Because yeah. <laughs> it there's a lot of technicalities that go into it. There's um, so much going on in baseball that just, if you don't know the game, you won't notice it's going on. Just like if you don't know anything about cricket. Exactly. You won't know what's going on, and exactly. you'll just be like, what the hell? What? You can just hit? There's no rules here. <laughs> yeah, like literally, if a person who knows baseball can be watching a game, and you could have the same situation in the second inning, fifth inning, and seventh inning where you have two runners on, on second and third, with one out, and a left-handed pitcher throwing to a right-handed batter. And you know what the right-handed batter should be doing in that situation with two outs. They should be hitting the ball to the right side of the field to get a base hit to score those two runners in. That's because you know the game. Mm -hmm. and there's a gazillion things about cricket I would never even think of because I don't know the nuances. But the thing I was going to say he said right at the outset that I thought would piss a lot of people off. And it's true. There is a fact that studies were done not just on that one, but Sports Illustrated for years, like every decade for the past 40 years has done what's the hardest thing to do in any sport, all sports around the world, Olympic sports, everything. And they always come back to taking a round ball and a round bat and hitting it squarely. It doesn't make the sport any better. Mm -mm. It just says that, that that aspect of it is extraordinarily it's difficult. A really small ball. Yeah. And the bat is not that thick. No. Uh, and it's, it's a round surface. Especially round compared ball. to a cricket and it, bat. And it's why, if you're a successful, really successful batter in baseball, you're going to be out 70% of the time. Mm -hmm. And you're still going to be, wow, that guy is awesome. Mm -hmm. And you fail 7 out of 10 times at the plate. But then you're considered, whoa, he's on fire. Yeah. Because it's so hard. Uh, oh, yeah. But yeah, whether it's better or not is a stupid no, yeah, conversation. Obviously, then. <laughs> But it, it said it right at the outset. It's basically, if you grew up with it, you're going to think that one's better. Yeah. And you can have an objective opinion that, that you like that sport more, which is fine. My favorite sport to watch is NFL American football. Then it would be soccer. Then it, well, baseball and soccer are basically pretty even for me. Uh, but in terms of, I'll watch, until it gets to the playoffs, I'll watch more soccer than I will regular season. But just there's, there's still too many games. Yeah. And... That's, there's yeah. a lot of problems Major League Baseball has, and that's why they're trying to figure out and get their ratings. Like they did a, a great thing with, um, even though they didn't change the game at all, but the what were the, the the Coster thing. Yeah, the, yeah. What was it called? The, the, the Field of Dreams. Field game. of Dreams. That was great. Uh, game because they're trying because we have a problem here of nobody nobody's watching baseball comparatively in comparison to the other sport NBA. NFL, uh, those are the two big ones. But that's actually not a problem with the game. That's a problem with people. It's true. It really is. But they're, I'm, my bet is they're going to do something similar in the next few years well, to what cricket did with the T20 games. Well, they have been doing things where they've made some changes in the rules. You now have, they, they don't talk about it, but pitchers have a time frame in which they have to deliver the ball now. Oh, really? They have a specific, they did this about two, three years ago, where the umpire is keeping track of how long you take in between pitches. And your team, you, you can get called for a balk mm -hmm. and other, other things can happen. A delay of game problems can happen for you if you're taking too long in between pitches mm -hmm. to try and speed the game up without changing the, the nature of the game itself. And yeah. like my, my favorite sport to watch is, I love baseball, but obviously I'm very particular to Yankees baseball. I, don't, I won't watch any other game unless it's the playoffs and the World Series. Then I'll, I don't care who's playing. I'll watch playoffs and World Series. Yeah. Um, and then after that, it's combat sports, MMA, uh, UFC, kickboxing, boxing's my least favorite of combat sports and then football. Yeah. And I love basketball too, but, uh, I don't, I don't watch it hardly at all anymore. Yeah. I don't like basketball. No, I don't watch um, it hardly at all anymore. But yeah, no, my favorite sport to play is soccer. My favorite sport or to play is baseball. Or or football. Baseball Depending is my, 
favorite will always be my favorite sport. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but yeah, great video. I thought the video uh, was very informative about each side and their argument. I don't know. I've never heard. What was the thing you said about baseball players think? Like oh. there's no skill in. Like it requires no skill to play cricket. I've never heard that. You have to, you're just a you're, moron you're, if you yeah, say that. Yeah, incredibly stupid <laughs> if you think that. Yeah, you're just a complete buffoon. And you have no idea words. what we're talking about. Exactly. Anyways, but yeah, great video. Let us know what other cricket videos we can react to down below. Just.